Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our weekend check-in video for Psych 45 Research Methods for Saturday, January 28th. And as I always do, just going to go over a few reminders, clarifications, anything I think you need to know to do well in our course to stay on top of things. So let's get started. Uh, first up here, your most recent quiz and discussion for Chapter 3. Uh, those were all due and ended there yesterday, Friday evening. So thank you for submitting those on time. And uh, I do uh, post uh, remarks or comments to your posts there in those discussions. So do take a look at those. A lot of you had some really interesting ideas about how you would measure hunger, which was the topic of the discussion most recently there and remember those comments are private to you they're for your eyes only so to speak so they don't appear in the uh, public discussion board they appear private as comments only on your end so uh, do take a look at those uh, next up here is that also in our unit one there do take a look there in the chapter three section there uh, I do have an extra little item in there about a link to a uh, National Public Radio Science Friday uh, program there about um, how uh, girls may lose sight of their own brilliance there compared to boys at a certain age there. And it's intriguing how they actually uh, measured that. So I put that up there just to kind of give you a really good sense of this is what we do in psychology. We have our operational definitions, which is part of what you're learning in Chapter 3. But we use those to try to capture these invisible ideas, these constructs, as Chapter 3 talks about there. So it's a pretty interesting program. It's only about six minutes or so to listen to it, so you might want to check it out. It's a really cool how they did it, but it also shows you again how we just have to be careful in building the mousetrap to uh, capture that stuff. Next up here is that your next chapter on ethics, Chapter 4, its quiz and discussion is due uh, next Friday there, February 3rd. And do remember that time differential. The discussions are due a bit earlier at 9 p.m. The quizzes must be submitted a bit later at 11.59 p.m. So uh, do uh, keep that in uh, mind there. And also, you'll see an item as well for Chapter 3 there in the unit there about uh, some ethical issues there this time it has to do with how our own government uh, you know subjected some of our soldiers back in World War II to some uh, chemical tests and a really uh, awful stuff there and of course they didn't tell the soldiers that they were being submitted to those tests just a total violation of ethical principles that we would use today but that's part of what you're going to read about there in chapter four is that well uh, because of some of the problems we saw, it was mostly because of what was done at those uh, horrific uh, concentration camps that the Nazis ran over in World War II there, uh, over in Europe. But uh, they've changed things now in terms of uh, how we monitor all kinds of research, so do take a look at that. Uh, next up here is that your first exam is coming up, uh, not this coming week, but the following week. It'll open up Monday through Wednesday, February 6th through February 8th. You will get a reminder announcement about this, so do take a look at that because I detail some things you might want to do to prepare for that. And uh, you will find a study guide right there at the bottom of Unit 1, right above the link for the exam, so do take a look at that. Uh, you will find a couple of areas on the study guide that are italicized with asterisks all around it. That's going to be the content that you're uh, two short answer essay questions are based on. So do prepare that well so when you get to those essay questions on the exam you can easily uh, type in your answers and do be careful and you'll see in the instructions there's a warning about this. Do not copy and paste information from your textbook or from some psychology related website you find online because that's cheating and plagiarism. You must put things in your own words when you answer those essay questions just like you would do in a face-to-face -face class on a paper and pencil test. So just make sure that you respond uh, in that manner there. Uh, the exam, as you'll see when you open up the instructions and also in the announcements there when I posted, uh, it's 60 minutes long. That is 6-0, so it's time. Once you start the exam, the clock doesn't stop. So after 60 minutes, it'll submit whether you're done or not. Uh, there are 50 questions. That's 50-5-0, a combination of multiple choice and some true-false and some short answer essay questions there. Uh, don't forget your mind tap assignments. Those will be due on the Sunday evening before the exam opens up on Monday. So that would put that on Sunday, February 5th at 11.59 p.m. You must have your mind tap assignments submitted there. So make sure that you're working on those and get those in on time. Uh, remember, you only get one chance to answer the questions on the mind tap platform. If you get it wrong, you don't get a second chance there. And uh, also, don't forget, there is one small quiz, I believe, for Chapter 2. I would mentioned this back in the homework there for Chapter 1, but when you open up all the chapter assignments for MindTap, you'll see, oh, there's a little one there for Chapter 2. It's just uh, two questions, I believe, but it's primarily Chapters 1, 3, and 4, and just a little bit there about Chapter 2. 
Uh, next up here, just a reminder that you're on for our course schedule, that part one of your APA style literature review paper, uh, that's coming up. It's uh, initially due Wednesday, February 15th, so we've got about three weeks away. I'm just giving you a little heads up there. Uh, go all the way down underneath unit five of our course material, so scroll down on the Canvas course page, class unit one, two, three, four, five. Underneath five, you'll see a dedicated APA literature review module. You want to take a look at the instructions for component one and the submission area for component one. They are clearly labeled as such. You'll see them there. When you open up the instructions at the very top, there's a little how-to video where I walk you through. It's like a little YouTube video like this. I just walk you through with some screenshots and show and tell you what you need to do and where you can find things on the instructions. It's about less than 10 minutes, I believe. So uh, just take a look at that to make your life easier. There is a completed sample submission you'll find in the instructions as well. Just take a look for that. And one important thing is that your topic has to be from the area of social psychology only. And so I have a file there near the top of the instructions. That's just an embedded list file of all kinds of social psychology topics. It's very simple to list. Uh, there's also a dedicated link there in the instructions too to an online free uh, social psychology ebook so you can get other ideas about what you might want to write about. So therefore, papers on things like drug abuse, uh, autism, schizophrenia, memory in human infants, that kind of stuff, uh, that's just not social psychology topics, so they are not suitable. So make sure that you uh, understand that you have to have a topic in social psychology and you'll be uh, uh, good to go with that. So do be careful about that. Uh, if you're having trouble uh, finding uh, your 10 APA style references, which is also part of what you need to submit, uh, you, you can sign up for what's called a RAP session, R-A-P, with a reference librarian, and they'll help you out with that. There's a link to that. I've got that there in the instructions you'll see. You can also just go to the library, too, and they'll help you out with that. But uh, uh, And I do have a, uh, a little uh, helpful set of information there about how to find uh, you know, academic peer-reviewed research articles because they must be research articles. They can't be things from like Time Magazine or the Fresno Bee or some psychology-related website that you find online. It has to be from actual research studies and you have to have 10 of those. And I give instructions there on how to use a particular database from our library that will really make it easy for you to find only academic peer-reviewed research articles. So you might want to take a look at that. Just trying to make things easier for you. Uh, and also you've got that pocket guide to APA style as well to help you out with some of this too. So this is in the instructions. I mentioned the chapters and don't forget you access the pocket guide through the MindTap platform. Just go all the way down below chapter 15 and then you'll see there's a link there for the pocket guide to APA style. Click it open and you'll see all the chapters uh, pop up, some of which I reference in the instructions there. Uh, other than that, just want to say uh, work ahead. It's always good to try to get things done there. Watch those lecture videos. I'll be in our live Zoom session this coming Monday at 11 a.m. You already got an announcement about that, so uh, please come if you can. Otherwise, I will record other remarks I make, which are just like these, just stuff to help you stay on top of things easily. Okay. All right. Well, hope you're having a good weekend. Reach out via email on Canvas if you got any questions. Otherwise, uh, take care. And uh, by the way, if you if you did order the textbook, I just heard that it's supposed to be in the bookstore by Monday. The bookstore will send you a notification if that actually happens. So let's keep our fingers crossed because I know it's been some real hassles this time. And uh, and hopefully uh, the MindTap try will be extended there too for those of you that are still waiting for the e-books. So I'm waiting to hear back from the rough about that, but that they should extend it again. So please don't worry about any of that. But let me know if there's any problem. All right. Take care for now. Bye-bye.